Minister, with the new dull term approaching, there's obviously still major public concern about your hate speech bill. So I wanted to ask, firstly, when the legislation will be back? And secondly, if you've made any changes to address people's concerns? Because just a couple of weeks back, a report by the Institute for Economic Affairs in the UK found that Labour proposals for stronger hate speech laws could make misgendering someone a crime in Britain. So are you in a position to say that that will never happen here under your bill? Uh, so I have quite a busy legislative agenda when we return in the next two weeks. Um, bills that will be progressing uh, at the initial stages are legislation around body-worn cameras, uh, the policing and security bill, which is integral to what we're doing here, making sure that that is passed by the end of the year. Um, I'll be progressing the legislation uh, on a new domestic violence agency and also by the end of the year I hope to have enacted uh, the hate crime legislation. Uh, I've said that I would engage further with colleagues on issues that they've raised and I'll certainly be doing that uh, in the weeks ahead. But I've been very clear on what we're trying to achieve here. Um, we are introducing hate crime legislation for the first time, which does not exist in this country. Uh, we're also making sure that where people intentionally spread hate that could result in um, assaults or could result in, uh, I suppose, impacts on, on certain members of the community, uh, that that's something that needs to be addressed. But this is not about um, criminalising people who insult others or who might misgender another person. This is very clearly about introducing hate crime and hate speech legislation. So, so you'd be Sorry. confident that nobody in Ireland will ever end up in court for misgendering somebody or something of that nature? That, uh, as I say, we're strengthening our hate speech legislation and that there's reports just across the water that something like that could happen there under their plan. So again, I'm asking you, how confident would you be that that'll never happen? I think the legislation is very clear. It's a deliberate intent to spread hatred against another person, and I don't think misgendering somebody does. Fergal. Uh, Minister McEntee, Commissioner Harris is in Dubai this week.